Hello and welcome to the Zyath Research Laboratories here in Cambridge, United Kingdom. I'm Steve Knight, Commercial Director, and with me today is Avash Anderson, our Support Engineer, and we're going to take a look at Zyath's world-beating range of camera-based 2D barcode readers. The range is the widest available on the market, and they all use CMOS-based camera technology to give you quick and accurate decoding of data matrix 2D barcodes. These tubes can be in SPS racks like this, which are used for sample storage, or they can be in cryo racks like this one, which are used for deep storage in cold facilities for other biological samples. Our scanners can read them all. And Avash is gonna help me demonstrate that to you now. So here in the lab today, we've got three different models for you to see in this short video. Starting with, I believe, the Cube, Avash. Yes, this is our Cube scanner. Uh, moving on, this one is the Express, and this is the Mirage. And then you've also got the small uh, device here, which you can just explain what that does. This is our single tube device for scanning individual tubes. Great, so that's very useful if you just need to get a quick barcode from one sample. Exactly, yeah. Okay, now if I've got a cryo rack like this, which one can I use? So for cryogenic racks, we recommend the Cube Scanner. So this is our most versatile scanner um, out of the three. It can scan cryogenic and it can scan SPS racks as well by a simple change of the mask, like so. Okay, so these masks are interchangeable and they, they just clip onto the top of the machine, is that correct? Yeah, ex exactly. And perhaps I can show you how that, would, sure. how that would works. So if I lift up like so, and they just simply click down and you can place the individual mask I see. onto the... Yep, that just locates onto these pins? Yes, exactly. Yep. So it just clicks into place. Yep. Like and then so. the cryo rack should fit. And the cryo rack goes straight on like so. Now, if I want to read the linear barcode on a particular rack, can I do that at the same time? Uh, yes, you can. So you can do that with the 1DR2 scanner on the side of the rack, shown here on our Mirage. So it's currently not on the cube, mm -hmm. but you can see it here and the linear barcodes on the side of the rack can be scanned with the 1DR2. And the 1DR2 can be fitted to the Express and the Cube as well? With our, our full range of scanners, they're all fitted with a, one, can, can be fitted with a 1DR2 scanner. Great, and you just have the appropriate bracket to support it. I've, exactly, yeah. yes. Thank Fantastic, you. good. Well, shall we have a look at how they actually work? Yes, that sounds good. So Avash, Zyath scanners have a reputation for being easy to set up from the box. Can you just mm -hmm. show me what I need to do to get this to actually work? Sure. So all of our scanners, they arrive pre-calibrated, so that means you can take them straight out of the box and be able to run a scan uh, pretty much as soon as you've in just installed the software. Great. Okay, well we have the software installed on this laptop and I can see that we've got the cube selected. Mm -hmm. So the idea is anyone can just walk up, you okay. can, if you see there's a, a variety of templates on screen, so you click the required template that you wish to scan. So in this case with the cube, it's an 81 place cryo box. Which will be this one. Yep, okay. and you click that. Oh, and it starts immediately. Mm -hmm. And it decodes the barcodes. Look at that, and there we are. So we, now we've got an image of the rack with all of the barcodes showing in green where they were uh, tubes located. We've got two which were empty, I can see in the box, mm -hmm. which haven't decoded, they're just greyed out. So uh, is that all I can get from this? So w from this screen, you can click on the individual barcodes and you can see the barcode position and the, and the actual barcode itself. I can see the image of the actual tube here as well. So I guess if there was ice on it or it wasn't reading properly, I'd be able to quickly and easily see why that was. Mm -hmm. If the barcode's damaged as well, you'll be able to see, the, you see exact small screenshot of the, of the barcodes. Great, see, well. great. Now, can I export this data now as some, in some kind of tabular format? Uh, yes, you can. So if you see on the second tab there, mm -hmm. um, there's the barcode lists. Uh, yep, this one here. Um, oh, so right. that, Okay, good. So now we've got all of the barcodes tabulated from that read. Yes, exactly. And you can export that um, data in a variety of formats. So in Excel, CSV, JSON, to name a few. Oh, that's great. So very flexible. And I can see the, the um, scan to Excel button directly at the, at the top there. So that would just take the scan and immediately export it, presumably. Yes, it will. And you can save that to any place on your computer. Fantastic. Great. Okay, so that's the cryo boxes. Um, 
Now, if I want to change this back over to SBS racks, uh, do I need to do anything special? Um, no, you don't. All you have to do is click, you have to change the mask over. Mm -hmm. So if you take your cryo box mask off, remove the mask. Yeah, put the SBS one put back the SBS on. one. And we've got an SBS rack Click that here. into place. So we put that on, and then I guess we just go back in the software and select the SBS rack from this template here. Uh, it says capturing image, and there we go. Look at that, mm -hmm. there's, the, there's all the barcodes decoded. So it's very quick, isn't it? Much quicker yes. than the flatbed scanners. Yes, they are. All, all, the scan, all of these scanners scan in around one to three seconds. And that's due to the solid state camera technology, I guess. Yes, they're CMOS uh, solid state camera. Excellent, great. Okay, so um, what happens if I've just taken one of these racks out of the freezer? How do I stop it from fogging up? So our scanners have, there's two options, a cryo protection and a non cryo protection option. So what that means is with the cryo protection, you can stra scan straight from a freezer or from liquid nitrogen um, and, it will man and it will cope with those frozen racks. Well, that's fantastic. And that needs to be uh, ordered at the time that you order the scanner if you want the cryo protection fitted? Well, when you place the order, if you let us know you want the cryo protection option, then that one will be built and sent out for you. Well, that's, that's great. That's very good news for our customers. And it's available on all of them, the cryo protection? We can put it on any of them? Yes, the cryo protection is on our full range of scanners. Fantastic. Okay, really good. So that's the Cube, which is, uh, as you said, quite versatile, and it'll take uh, the different formats of cryo box and SBS rack. Now, next to it, you've got another small scanner here with just an SBS rack on. So this is the Express. This is the Express. So this is our scanner, um, which is ideal for automation. Because as you can see, the footprint size is very small. Yes, it's much smaller than this one, isn't mm -hmm. it? And I guess if you wanted to put that on the deck of a robot, that would take up uh, quite, a, quite a small amount of room. Uh, yes, it would. There's a separate part to it, an imaging part, so that can be away from the robot, just so you can have this extremely small footprint inside of the, on the robot. Great, yeah. So this is just the optics here, and then the control box can go anywhere else underneath on a different bench. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, but it will obviously only take the SBS racks. Yeah, this one's SBS only. And uh, does it operate in the same way? It operates exactly the same. Mm -hmm. um, so so if, if I select Express in the software, I can see a, a variety of templates here, but all in the SBS format, including uh, um, a 384 format. Yes, yeah, so our Express scanner can scan 384. And some, there's some exam, other examples on the screen there. Yeah, we can see the 48 offset here and a 24 as well as the standard 96. Mm -hmm. So that's very versatile. Yes, it is, yeah. Great. And to operate, it's, I guess, the same way if I just click this 96 template. Yeah, it's now capturing the image. It will scan exactly the same and produce the image just, just like it did for the cube. Excellent. Great. And there's the table. If you go back to the first column, you'll be able to see the image again. And there the is the... Tab. Mm, that's not doing it, what is that? So that's obviously a very useful function if you're using a liquid handling robot. Oh yes, it's perfect for that. Now, will it work with uh, most commercially available robots? I mean, suppose I've got a Beckman or a, a Perkin Elmer robot. How do I know which one it will work with? Um, yes, so it works with, works with all of those. Yeah. Great, and uh, I guess if I've got some uh, bespoke automation, I should just contact Zyeth and uh, ask if it will work with it or if it can be made to work with it. Yes, if you contact us, we can discuss that with you and work out a solution. Great, excellent. Now, what have you got on the end here? Um, so this one is the Mirage. It's, more, it's the most economically priced rack scanner on the market. Um, you can see it's quite a small footprint size as well. Now, does this have two boxes or am I looking at the whole thing there? Um, that is just one box, that's the whole thing. So that's really quite compact, isn't it? Mm, yes. Excellent, and what's, what's uh, hanging off the end here? So this is our 1DR2 scanner for scanning the 1D barcodes on the side of the, of the racks. If you go back to the software mm -hmm. and you click on the Mirage this time, when you scan the rack, it will show you the 1D barcode as well. Okay, so I've selected Mirage here and I'm going to select the 96 well template again. It's now showing me the image and where is that barcode from the side appearing? And if you see just above oh, the... Oh yeah, so here's the barcode actually read from 
the end of the mm -hmm. rack with the linear scanner as well as all of the 2D ones. Yes. So that's very useful then if you've got barcoded racks uh, for sample and inventory management to be mm -hmm. able to read that at the same time. And I th you said earlier on we could fit that to any one of these three scanners. Yes, each scanner comes with its own bracket where the 1DR2 can be attached. Fantastic, great. Okay, so we've gone through the three rack scanners there. Um, let's have a little look at the, the single tube scanner. So the single tube scanner has its own software. So if you'd like to move an individual tube from the rack. Okay. I've got a tube here with the 2D barcode on the bottom. So the single tube acts as a keyboard wedge. So if you'd like to scan the tube. So if we place that on the reader, I can actually see in the software um, that it's imaged it and then displayed that barcode directly into the notepad. So that's what the keyboard wedge function does? Yes, it does. It, it produces the barcode on screen wherever the cursor is. So that could be in your sample management software, can be in a notepad, or even an Excel spreadsheet. Oh, so it doesn't have to be in notepad. It could be in uh, an Excel spreadsheet or the, um, the Zyeth samples inventory management software or a, a commercial program. Um, such as Titian, for example. Exactly. So wherever your cursor is on screen, it will produce that barcode. Great. So that's a very, very simple device, but quite useful uh, if you don't want to have a rack scanner or you're not actually using large numbers of tubes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for just taking us through that introduction to the Zyeth range. I think you can see it's, it's quite comprehensive with solutions which are fast and easy to set up for most 2D barcode applications. You can find out a lot more information about the scanners and the company at our website, which is www.zyath.com.